Hi everybody. Um, I just want to put it out there. This is the first time I'm doing a review on YouTube of uh, any kind. So forgive me if you know I don't hit all the right points. Um, I actually wanted to do a hair review um, about this hair that I'm sporting right now. I bought this hair from Wow African and certainly I know there's a lot of reviews, um, YouTube reviews from various companies include, including this one on YouTube out there. Um, pretty much, you know, I don't have much experience uh, with weaves. This is only my second installment. Um, having had my first one just about, I would say, you know, four months ago or so, four or five months ago. So this is only the second time um, you know, getting a weave. And I thought this would be helpful for uh, maybe people who are either contemplating getting a weave or people who are searching for what would be considered good quality hair but for decent pricing. Um, first time I had a weave, which, you know, I had purchased from a completely different company. It was a much deeper wave because I do like you know a lot of curls um, I was happy with the look um, the hair was great for the first month and then thereafter uh, it was a lot of issues with tangling and shedding so I essentially had to become a slave to the hair where actually literally every morning even though I would take good care to either you know braid the hair at night and wrap my head that you know it would take up to half an hour just to ent untangle my hair in the morning and for me that just was not acceptable because I ended up spending more time on uh, doing my hair with this weave than I would do with my own natural hair so um, pretty much I was more looking with my next installment for something that would not give me the same problem you know that would allow me you know to quickly get my hair done and I would come out looking you know beautiful and I have to say with this hair that I'm sporting, that's exactly what I got. I specifically chose to do um, the video on a day like today because I wanted to show the hair at its worst state. And obviously at its worst state, it's pretty darn good. Uh, and what I mean by that is I've had this hair install for about six weeks, six and a half weeks to be exact. Um, it's been washed four times already. Um, last time I actually washed it was almost two weeks ago. So I'm actually due, if not overdue for a wash, because ideally I like to do it, you know, every one week, you know, but sometimes because of also my schedule and because I haven't, you know, um, you know, it was still in good condition, I'd stretch it out to about two weeks. So this time around, um, it's just about that two week mark where I'm about to go to my hairdresser tomorrow to get this hair, you know, done and you know revitalized but as you can see it still looks you know definitely pretty good um what i purchased was the peruvian body wave and i got it in length 18 20 and 22 inches yes i really did go long even though like i said i'm inexperienced with weave but i thought hey if i'm gonna get a weave I might as well go bold and you know everything never mind i actually do work in a very conservative environment so uh, but I'll talk to you a little bit about that, how I wear it for work, uh, so it doesn't look too overwhelming and too, you know, dramatic, you know, with the type of work that I do. Um, I've been very happy so far um, with this hair. And as far as maintenance, like I said, I think it's extremely, extremely low maintenance. And uh, pretty much what I can tell you is that I have not been as good as taking care of the hair as I should but yet as you can see it still is in excellent I would say very good shape especially after six weeks um, I don't abuse it like I say but I think you know when I was researching about things that I should do in getting a weave what I've heard from you know people is to really you should take care of it like your own real hair or you're gonna have problems meaning you either gotta you know um, braid it or wrap it at night um, I think I've only been good at that about 50% of the time I really mean to do it but honestly there's a lot of late nights that I have where I'm just extremely tired yes I know it's just two simple braids but literally 
I just want to go to bed and not really want to do anything. So um, I would say on average, most of the time what I've done with it at night is just kind of like, you know, roll it and use, you know, one of those hair clips that you see, you know, ladies wear all the time. I just roll it up like this and I go to bed. Um, yes, and I'm ashamed to admit that, yeah, there are a lot of times I was sort of rapid eater, but I am extremely lucky unlike the first hair installment that I had. Um, in the morning, it's just like within, you know, a minute, I'm ready to go. Give it a good brush and I'm ready to go. Uh, most of the time, I don't really use any product on it. Uh, some of the time, I will, especially if I want it to look a little bit more uh, revitalized. Uh, I will share with you whatever what I have done, you know, to it so far. Um, so far, in addition to when I go to my hairdresser and I come out looking with these beautiful big waves and get compliment on them um on my own when i want to take out the curls i can spot a very straight look with this hair and it actually looks very very beautiful uh without the waves as well very nice um so i use my curling iron um i'm sorry not my curling iron my um flattening you know iron i use that uh to flat iron the hair and, you know, I actually came across this completely by accident while shopping at, you know, to Target. I think I got this. This is the Shea Moisture. It's a Shea Moisture H Defy and Color Protectant Heat Shield Cream. It actually has a very nice smell to it. It's a white little cream like this, you know. Uh, it's very light, you know, to the hair. So I'll usually put it on, you know, the part of the hair. Sorry, I got that a little bit on my face there. A little part, you know, I'll put it to the section of the hair and then put the flat iron over it. It comes out really, really straight and actually smells really, you know, very good. It's not greasy or anything like that. It doesn't leave any buildup or flakiness to the hair. Um, so I really, really like that. And the next day it's as if like I didn't apply anything to the hair. So I like that the fact that it doesn't leave... Uh, thick residue on the hair. So I use that if I'm going to flat iron because it is a heat, you know, protectant. Um, other things that I've used on this hair, other than sometimes I just might put a little bit just water to kind of, if I want these waves, this is the natural waves. And I'll turn around just so you can see. And you'll see the length too. I'm almost 5'6", by the way. So, uh, and I have to say after my second wash because the ends were looking a little rough. Um, you know, no big deal, no split ends. My hairdresser did clip the ends a little bit. Again, not much um, that she cut, just a little bit. But I will stand up so you can see where that, you know, 18, 20, and 22. She put the 22 at the very bottom, at the nape of my neck, and then 20, and then the 18. So you can see where it, where it extends, right? And you can see, you know, the beautiful wave pattern. It has a lot of body, moves very naturally. And, you know, I can run my fingers through it, okay, without, you know, my hands getting trapped ah, 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 in the hair like this. So, it's really good. Um, for example, last night, on the night that was very good, or I, at least I think I was good anyway, I actually, you know, put it in two braids, one on each side. Um, I did braid them tightly, so when it came out this morning, the waves were more like, you know, a little bit more tighter and the hair you know of course you know this this is virgin hair so I guess it will mimic you know uh, what natural hair would do so it was big and puffy and I just kind of wanted to let it lay low like I said I work in a pretty conservative environment so I don't want to go in there like people ask me where the hell I think I'm going or whatever like this so um, I actually just spray it down um, what I used was you know this was from one of the YouTube girls I've seen who had used this. So I went, again, I got this at Target, Cream of Nature, Argan Oil. I mixed it with water. And then, you know, I sprayed it. You know, I have another little pink bottle in, you know, where I mix those two. And then I just kind of spray it from, you know, roots to the end. And, you know, I did that this morning, actually. And so that actually reverted the hair you know, loosen some of the waves that I had from the braids. So this is actually the hair's natural, you know, curl pattern. Um, so 
as you can see, the hair is dry now. I've had a full day of work. Um, still looks good. Even though it's dry, but it's it's not dry. I mean, you know, I mean dry as if it's not, it's wet. It's not dry like, you know, dry hair that is damaging. It's actually quite soft. And, you know, I'm very happy with it. You know, I haven't really experienced any shedding or anything like that. So it's definitely a big difference from the hair, you know, that I got. Um, as far as you can see, I do have a leave out. Oh my God, I'm getting one or two gray hair. I guess I'm getting old, whatever. Um, I do have a leave out. So pretty much, you know, six weeks, um, you know, I have some new growth. So I'll have to end up, you know, straighten, you know, my new growth. Um, as I said, you know, with the first weave that I have actually, that I had, I have to say I left the weave in for about seven weeks. Because I thought, oh, what I've read is anywhere between six to eight weeks. My hairdresser thinks that I can stretch this one out to 12 weeks. I don't know. I mean, I'm at six and a half weeks now. It still looks pretty good. I think the only thing that of concern is, you know, my leave out, which I can definitely see where I need to get a perm or, you know, getting straightened out. So if she can fix that for me, I guess I'm more than happy with, you know, leaving the this weave-in for a few more weeks but I will have to see I mean because honestly I don't like you know I've seen a lot of people with gorgeous weaves but I've seen a lot of people with bad weaves either and I'm not trying to you know walk around sporting you know a bad weave so I guess I will go along and staying a little bit longer than six weeks what which is you know what I had originally planned and as soon as it start looking you know rough you know, obviously I will be um, changing it. So overall, uh, I'm extremely happy with this hair. Again, um, this was from Wild African. Uh, I bought the hair on my own. The company does not contact me or anything. Like I said, this is my first, you know, YouTube review. So I'm not a YouTube glamour girl. You know, I'm not an expert on weave, but I thought this might be helpful for the person who's coming in the first time. Um, like I was, um, uh, trying to figure out what kind of hair and to get good quality hair. And I believe, um, I actually bought this hair for 210 bucks. Don't quote me because as you know, with companies, prices do change. Okay. So, you know, and, um, I do have a big head, you know, that I think you can see. And as my hair start growing, obviously it's, you know, becomes even bigger looking as my own hair starts to grow underneath this weave but um i only i think i use um three bundles three bundles was you know enough just enough to do my hair and my leave out is really not that much my hairdresser left this part out okay for my leave out and then the rest is all in including all the way in the back so overall i would give this hair two thumbs up I would definitely reorder it again because it's very easy and especially for the person who does not have a lot of time um you know to do all kinds of style and who's trying for something that doesn't really tangle or for someone you know like me who has a lot of late nights and get a little bit lazy sometimes and you know to do all that other things that can be done with this hair you know, at night as far as wrapping it and everything. I mean, I highly recommend, yes, you should, you know, wrap your hair and do all those things in order to preserve your hair and to keep your hairstyle looking, you know, uh, very good every day. But I have to say, I haven't been as faithful. So I'll be honest with you, but it still is very good. And the other thing I'd like to add also is that I do work out quite a bit at the gym and I also you know, dance quite a bit as far as like my hobby and it still is, you know, holding pretty well. I don't have issues as far as it retaining, you know, moisture from sweat and smelling. That was one of the uh, concerns that I had as far as like sporting a weave anyway and also taking care of my leave out. That has not been an issue and I'm very happy uh, with it and, you know, very uh, satisfied. 
so um pretty much you can see you know it moves really well i'm very happy and you know i will wear this hair till i cannot wear it anymore so i think overall um this was a good buy thanks for watching if you have any questions uh feel free um you know i check my youtube i try to be very good about it if i don't answer right away i promise I'll periodically check and also to let you know how the hair is holding up so so far so good six weeks into it and definitely desperately in need of a wash but you know as you can see pretty good yeah considering I have not been as faithful as some other uh, weave wearers um, so thank you for watching and you know Feel free to ask any questions. Bye.